Maybe the best fisherman in the Bahamas. Get out of here, we're doing a photo shoot. And she said, grab the spear. Just ready to eat off our little fingers. I could feel it. <laughs> Tom, I love you, I'm sorry. Come hang out with us as we learn from a local spearfishing legend, deal with some serious anchor issues, and dance with mermaids. I'm Jocelyn. And I'm Michelle. Together with our best friends, we're sailing the world on our boat, the Bellafonte. Proving that ordinary people can do extraordinary things. This is Sea Sondering. Little Farmer's Key is famous for its turtles that you can swim with, but we had something else that we were looking for there. They said you can spot him really easily because he's wearing a Canadian hat, like a toque with ear, ear flaps on it. And he's wearing it every day. And that's how we knew it was him, was wearing this hat, like the legend foretold. We're en route to see the turtles at Little Farmer's Key. Show us the call. Here, turtle, here, turtle. We definitely run on a shoestring budget on the Bellafonte. So we were talking to the guy and we're like, okay, well, maybe we'll just go for a walk around town and not feed the turtles because it's probably out of our budget. And then when we came back, we ran into Aiden. I think Aiden felt a bit bad for us. And so he gave us a piece of conch and tied it on a string so that we could feed the turtles. This is the weirdest activity we've done yet. <laughs> All of these turtles coming at us are just actually slightly terrifying because they're a bit aggressive. And then two massive stingrays also came over, and there was all these fish circling, and like the people were yelling because the turtles were getting really close to us. But it was very, very cool. Such a cool experience. When we were in Sayo Key, we heard about one of the best fishermen in the Bahamas. He's known to be one of the best by at least a few people, so we'll say that. We were lucky enough to meet him when we went and saw the turtles. And somehow convinced him to let us come fishing with him for a day. It was a BD. It was the best day ever. We love Aiden. <laughs> Bonte. Yeah. That's us. I like Perry Belafonte. Throat fishing with Aiden. He's the best fisherman in the Bahamas. She did. Aiden does this really cool thing where he steers the boat from in the water and holds onto the motor and like in the boat and just like trolls from in the water with his face down looking for Paul. He's going to search and steer the boat at the same time. Oh God, please don't get cut up. Wouldn't recommend trying this at home, but it was incredible to see in action. Aiden apparently catches 10% of all of the fish that the Bahamas sell or that is sold in the Bahamas. That's something we heard. I don't know how true that is, but I would believe it. You see something? Okay. I'm gonna go find some lava town. Cool. Aiden's advice for catching lobster, you just gotta get intimate with them. Good job, Can you show it to us? Yes, you got it. Yeah, you did. Holy mackerel. Can you eat the lobster like that one? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, sorry, buddy. I got to spear my first lobster, and it was a huge one. Tell me about it. That's a huge brother. Um, yeah, it's my first spot. But I didn't go Emma ever. I'm always too scared to hit them, and I feel bad they stare at me in the face. Now that you have a coat? <laughs> now I have a coat. Except for that, I didn't, he didn't stick on the spear, so. The coach had to go get him. Yeah, coach had to go get him. Coach, you went and got him in the hole. Yeah. Any, uh, anything you want to add to this? <laughs> <It's a coach. laughs> lesson two, conking. First lesson was lobster and fishing. Now we're conking. I don't know exactly what this entails, but I am really excited to watch. <laughs> Um, you scare it through the shell? I think you just pick it up with your hand. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Fishing, he dives, he comes back up, and he slaps this hat on his wet head. <laughs> yeah, how'd you know? From Grandma's house. <laughs> Such a kind, gentle person. He was very patient with us and taught us a lot. I can hands down say it was one of my favorite days of the entire trip. It was just a once in a lifetime kind of thing. And we were so happy we got to meet him. He was just the greatest guy. Um, so our anchor is caught under a massive cement block in the anchorage. It's super deep. It's gonna be really hard to dive it and try and unstick it manually. So we're just going through kind of the game plan. Joss and I are both gonna go down there and I'm gonna spot her while she dives it. And then up here, Pal and Julia are gonna be communicating and driving the boat. Not the best of times. Not ideal. Dealing with the anchor was probably the first time on the trip I've been genuinely really, really worried. Our anchor got wrapped around a giant piece of cement block and the anchor chain went through two pieces of rebar and it was 25 feet deep. this massive cement block and I was really really worried that the chain was gonna snap or we were gonna break our windlass okay so our anchor is very very stuck it's somehow underneath a cement block but then in between two iron rods so what we're gonna do we tried to like reverse and move maneuver around it but we just couldn't lift that cement block we're worried we're gonna break our brand new chain 
So I'm going to put on the dive gear and undo the chain from the anchor underwater and then unthread it and then reconnect it to the anchor so that we can pull the anchor up. Luckily, we have dive gear this year. We have this sweet little Mantis Marine tank, so we're going to test it out um, under pressure. Just making some last minute adjustments here to the fit of the backpack dive tank. <laughs> It works. Got lots of current now. And so she got the scuba tank on, and I spotted her from above. So we had to unhook the anchor and then thread it back through the cement block and reattach it underwater, and then we could pull it back up. Looped it underneath the cement block, had to yank it out from underneath it, like <laughs> Superman strength. And then swim back over while the boat is now drifting because it's not attached to the anchor. She grabs one the anchor in one hand and it has the anchor chain in the other and pulls them together. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. And then redoes the anchor chain and then Julia's on board um, and so she pulled the anchor up. There she is! Woo! You guys are amazing! You wouldn't believe what David Copperfield left underwater. From Little Farmers, we sailed to Rudder Cut Key to go see this really cool underwater statue. I hear that the statue was donated by David Copperfield, the magician. Yeah, it was so much fun just swimming around and twirling, and I learned I could dive. We are in Rudder Cut Key, and we're about to see the underwater piano lady. Yay! And this is your main thing that you've been looking forward to. I'm really excited. We're in a competition for who can take the cutest photo underwater. This is for you, Sarah. <laughs> mermaids, do they wear their hair up or down? I will consult the mermaid on the bottom before this photo challenge. <laughs> I think they wear it down. The we'll Little Mermaid we'll does. The Little Mermaid does. Where they but I also have a fish tail. Ooh, a fish tail. Zoom in on this fish Very mermaid. Wow. Contender for the cutest photo competition. <laughs> you know, every time you want to untangle your anchor from the bottom of the ocean, there's a barracuda. Or every time you want to have a bath off the boat, there's a barracuda hanging out under the boat looking at you. Anyways, the mermaid statue was no different. There was a barracuda sitting right next to the piano, but Jocelyn swam down and picked up a handful of sand and just like... <laughs> <laughs> sprinkled it on the barracuda and it swam away. Yeah. Hello. 
So tonight I am breading some delicious fish that we caught spearfishing when we went out with our friend Aiden. So I have, this is a piece of grunt. And then over here, we've got some of the queen trigger fish, queen trigger fish which apparently is delicious. So I'm very excited to try it. Just gotta make sure my oil is nice and hot. Breading that. Breading that, yum, yum, yum. Okay, I'll uh, tune back in and we throw it in the pan. Yep. Is that a good shutter? Yeah. That's like one of the best things I've ever eaten. Yum! Yummy! Yay, yummy! Yum, 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 yum! 